In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure the Palo Alto URL filtering feature to block access to certain websites. Hi, my name is Ricardo, and for this configuration, you're gonna need the Palo Alto Advanced URL Filtering License. We're gonna block the URL category Social Networking, and we're gonna block PayPal.com and all its subdomains. So let's head to the computer. So now I'm at the Windows server, which is behind my firewall, and I'm gonna try the connection to Facebook.com. It's working. YouTube.com. Also working. PayPal.com. Also working. And if I come here to contact, and I go to, in this case, it's called developer. I can see that I have developer.paypal.com. This exists and it's also working. So now let's go to the file and start configuring our URL filtering. So now I'm at my panorama. And if you go to objects, my PA is selected. This is the PA that I have, that I have the URL license installed. So I'm gonna make it make the configuration on it. Erase this filter. And if I go to custom objects, URL category, I click on add. I'm gonna enter one that's called URL whitelisting, whitelist. And then here I'm gonna add my YouTube dot com and then don't forget the slash in the end here there is a little tip for you to use the slash to ensure an exact entry match use a forward slash at the end of your entry so it means that studio.youtube.com is gonna also gonna be blocked okay just click on okay and then now we're gonna create our URL blacklist. And here we're gonna add paypal.com slash and also start.paypal.com slash. Press okay. If I'm not mistaken, this configuration here you can do also without the URL, the advanced URL filtering license, because you're not using any category from the PenDB, which is the Palo Alto database of URL categories. But whenever we come now to the URL filtering, I'm gonna show you URL outbound filtering. Something like this. Here you can see that the custom URL that we just created are listed and we can, on the right side, we can set if it's gonna be allow or deny. And then we have also the predefined categories. These predefined categories, for, for you to use them, you need the advanced URL filtering. And we're gonna block, we said we're gonna block where is it? Social networking. You can also use the search here. And here we're going to set to block. And everything else we can leave and allow. Just one hint. Whenever you leave allow, you won't see this in the normal logs from the file. So under monitor, if it's set to allow, you won't see the, the URL filtering showing this, this hits. If you want to see them, you need to set it to alert. You can also go like this, site access, set all actions to alert. So you see everything. And now we can set this one to block. Do the same here. Alert. And I'm setting this one to block. In your company, you should go through all these categories for example, abortion, 
abuse drugs, adult, probably many of them you don't need to allow in your company. It's a long list, but I think it's worth going through this list to block some stuff that you know that nobody in your company will need for your business. Okay, here you can press OK. And it shows you here alert categories 78 and it's just one that we set the social networking is set to block let me show you something else let me just go back in the options that we have here under site access are these ones here so alert I already said block it just doesn't allow the continue it will allow the connection but the file shows a button that the user has to press like a continue button that the user sees okay there is a warning that's coming from the file are you sure you want to access this website and the override you can set an, a, a password on the on the file on the person only the person with the password can access such content in this case like this and the password i'm not going to I'm not going to go deep on this configuration of the override, but to set the password, you need to come to device, setup, content ID, and here's URL filtering. Here's where the URL admin override. This is where you make this override configuration. You can also configure some other stuff here. For example, URL admin lockout timeout, sorry, the URL admin override. So after 15 minutes, the admin has to enter the password again and so forth. So now back to objects, we left social networking on block and everything else on alert. And as you can see here also, the custom URL categories, they come before the predefined. So whatever you set in the custom URL categories, they're going to take precedence on the predefined category. So in this case, I set YouTube on the white list and I set PayPal on the, on the black list, even though PayPal what should PayPal be? I don't know what PayPal is, but it's not social networking. So it would be allowed, but since we set it in the blacklist, it's not gonna be allowed anymore. My URL blacklist, I need to set, of course, to block. So now we would be ready to configure this profile on a security policy, but I like to configure security profile groups. I'm gonna show you how we do. I'm going to call this one outbound profile and under URL, I'm going to select the URL outbound filtering, the one that we just created. So I just click on OK. And let's go to policies and we're going to, I'm not going to create a new one because I already have one to allow internet access. This one allow lab internet. I'm going to click on it and show you under action. I have profile type group and the group profile I have none. And I can select the group that I just created outbound profile. Other way to do it without the group, you will be to come to profile type and select profiles. And here you have all the options. So we could have done like this. URL outbound filtering. But personally, I prefer using the group. And then I set the group and whenever we need to change something, we have the group already selected on the security policies and we can just go on the group and change there and then all the security policies are gonna be changed. Okay, so I press okay and I am ready to commit the configuration. So while the commit is running, I want to show you a website called urlfiltering.paloaltonetworks.com and here you can test the website, in our case, paypal.com, that I didn't know which category it is. No, I'm not a robot. And then I have to click on search again. And it's showing the category financial services. And here you can get an information about the website. If you go to YouTube.
Okay, it shows that YouTube is streaming media. So we need to change this. If you go to linkedin.com. LinkedIn is social networking. So we're going to do everything that we did with YouTube to LinkedIn. So let me go back to objects. I'm going to change it quickly. And then I'm ready to commit. So now my commit is through and I'm back to my client. And if I come here and clear my web cache, privacy, clear browsing data in the last hour, should be enough. And I come here to PayPal and click on reload. And I cannot access it anymore. If I come to developerpaypal.com, also doesn't work because we blocked paypal.com and also star.paypal.com. If I go to facebook.com, also doesn't work. If I go to linkedin.com, this one still works. Just want to show you something that I really didn't find the documentation, but I test it myself. If I go to thing.com, this is a German social networking website, similar to LinkedIn. It shows me a page like this. That's coming from the file web page blocked different from facebook.com that shows me this rather ugly page. The difference that I noticed while turning on this developer tool from, from the browser was that the Facebook sends back a redirect to HTTPS, a 307 redirect, whereas the thing sends me a 302 HTTP redirect back. You cannot really control when you, you get the page like this. It depends on what the website sends back. In my case, I don't have any SSL decryption, so the file cannot decrypt the HTTPS traffic and cannot send you a web page blocked, depending on how the redirect from HTTP to HTTPS is done on the web server. And one other thing regarding SSL decryption, if you want to allow websites based on what is coming after the slash, for example, about, you, for example, if you want to allow the about, the slash about, but you don't want to allow the contact us. For example, I don't know if it exists for, for sync, but everything that comes after the slash, the file can only see if you have the SSL decryption activated. Otherwise, the file cannot see what's after the slash if the connection is done through HTTPS. Just so you know, depending on your strategy, you would need the SSL decryption. I have a video that I made about SSL decryption. I'm going to leave you a link on the description if you need some help configuring it. And let's go back to the file now to see the, what the file wrote in the logs. So now if you come to monitor and under OL filtering, you can see the source IP address. This is the, my client. And you can see that the client tried to access facebook.com. And as an action, there's a block URL. What else? Try to access sync. It's also being blocked. And let's go to the second page. I'm looking for the PayPal now. Okay, let's do the PayPal. URL contains. PayPal. So you can see developer PayPal, block URL, PayPal objects. This is also another domain from PayPal, but this one we didn't block. So you can see here on the right side, it's set to alert and PayPal.com actually with the www in front of it. It's only working. This one is only being blocked because we blocked also 
star.paypal.com otherwise this one will be allowed so you need to be careful with that and LinkedIn LinkedIn.com is under alert so it's being allowed and it's being logged here on the on the file URL filtering monitor also here under URL category list you can see that LinkedIn is is falling under the URL whitelist category which is correct so guys thank you very much for watching this video until the end don't forget to hit the subscribe button and maybe this video here can help you with more Palo Alto configuration and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye